revolution, the only solution he bought. If you want revolution, the only solution he bought. If you're getting off track and you want to get back, may take a lot of work, won't break your back. If you want revolution, the only solution he bought. Hi, and welcome to Out of the Blue. Tonight I am going to be doing an unboxing of Star Wars The Complete Saga, the Blu-ray collection. So as you can see, while it's still in a plastic, it has these stickers all over it. It's a nine disc set. It includes all the six movies, with over 40 hours of special features, and 90 minutes of Star Wars booths. On the back of it, it basically tells you what you get on all the nine discs. And there's nothing really too interesting here. I think for a nine disc set, they kept it pretty compact. It doesn't look like a brick or anything. Alright, so let's go ahead and take the plastic off of it and look at the artwork a little bit better. So the back actually isn't part of the box. It's just a piece of cardboard telling you what's all in the series. So the artwork on the front of the cover is pretty nice, but it's also kind of plain. I'm kind of surprised it went with this artwork. Usually Star Wars box sets or anything from Star Wars depicts like a big space battle and this and that. But here is basically young Luke walking away and old Luke walking back. So it's kind of interesting cover that they chose for this. On the back of the box, it's basically more of Tatooine, which is the desert, and there's somebody on writing something here, which I can't really tell what it is. But again, another interesting choice for artwork for the back cover. So the discs themselves slide out of the box, kind of like a book cover, which is kind of cool. And again, on this, it's basically the same artwork that is on the box itself. And this is actually set up a little bit like, or almost exactly like, the Alien box set that came out last year. So let's look inside and see what's in it. So with the Phantom Menace, uh, you basically get a picture of Darth Maul. And the discs are set in there, just like the Alien box set that came out. And these are all kind of look like the water-colored pictures. A little bit better picture of Darth Maul on the cover. So for Attack of the Clones, you basically get a picture of Amidala standing there with Anakin. So, on a terrace, which... <laughs> Not all that great uh, of a sequence, and not very exciting artwork again. And it pretty much looks like watercolor. And you have the disc set into the page. For the third film, Revenge of the Sith, you have a little bit better artwork on this one. It's them fighting, and of course you have Anakin over here in full-on Dark Jedi mode. So It's kind of a nice painting. So for New Hope, you have a painting of Han, Leia, and Luke standing, what looks like, in the Death Star. And it's a really nice painting if that's what it is. Of course, it looks so realistic, it almost looks like a photoshopped picture that you know they used for um, watercolor. But yeah, it's a really nice picture. The Empire Strikes Back gets, of course, Yoda over here. And it's a pretty good painting of him. I think it really captures uh, Yoda. Now we get to Return of the Jedi, and we have yet another watercolor of a fight between Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker. And it's kind of a strange watercolor, sort of like the rest of them. Now we get to the bonus disc page. And this is actually a kind of interesting page because there's some sort of creature here painted with Boba Fett writing him. And I never remember this from the movie. Maybe it's an outtake <laughs> or an ad scene. But uh, yeah, it's very interesting. 
bonus disc 2 page brings us Han Solo with a bunch of Ewoks. And it's actually a really good painting. I do like this one. So we get to the second to last page, the bonus disc 3, and again it's another strange painting that never occurred in the movie of some big armed robot coming over a piece of rocks to attack C-3PO and r 2 And there's some guy on a big thing here with a hat flying off. I'm sure some of this will be explained in the bonus features of what these paintings actually are. And now we get to the final page, and this is what I think the box cover should have been. It would have been awesome. This is the best page in the whole box set. And it has all the Star Wars characters, and it's just really awesome and extremely well done. And as you see, it has the Guide to the Galaxy. Uh, it's a booklet about Star Wars. So without that book in there, you can see the rest of the characters behind it. This is a really cool back cover here. So inside the book, you basically get an overview of what's on each disc from episode one, and it tells you all the extras that are on every disc to episode two to episode three, and has some artwork in it. And then it gives you uh, the bonus discs of what's on each disc and we will be going through every single one of these on an upcoming review for the Star Wars box set so hopefully you tune back for that and another disc about Star Wars documentaries and the other disc about uh, which is down here about the Star Wars spoofs and actually has Weird Al music video I don't know if it shows the whole thing but, uh, yeah, this is a really good guide to tell you what's all on all these discs. Cause there's so much information here. Okay, so there you have it. The unboxing of Star Wars The Complete Saga. And like I said, you know, come back a little bit later. And Vince and I will be reviewing all the stuff that's on this. All 40 plus hours of all the extra features and we'll be talking about the 90 minutes of Star Wars boost that's on here and everything else. So make sure you check back, and I will see you next time. If you want a revolution, the only solution is ball. If you want a revolution, the only solution is ball. If you're getting off track and you want to get back, may take a lot of work, won't break your back. If you want a revolution, the only solution is ball. Make no mistake about it, you gotta evolve, blood, sweat, and tears around.